in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this folding stick chair. Now, this thing's pretty easy to make, and it looks pretty awesome. And it's cool that it folds. Now, all the pieces for this chair are cut out of two befores, and it doesn't have any fasteners really. There's just pieces of wire that are ran through holes that are cut into pieces. And they're held together with these little wire clamps on the outside. There's a total of 25 pieces in one of these chairs. Now, I like to use a premium 2 before one that doesn't have a lot of knots to cut my pieces out of. Now, every piece is an inch and a quarter by an inch and a half. So you're basically just taking your 2 before which is an inch and a half, and ripping it down to an inch and a quarter. Each piece also has two quarter inch holes drilled in it. Now, uh, on my blog, The Woodworking Trip, I have <clears throat> the dimensions of all these pieces, what to cut them, and exactly where to drill your holes, and you can look at that for free. Now, if there's not a link somewhere around this video, you can go to thewoodworkingtrip.com. No, you can go to thewoodworkingtrip.blogspot.com and find it there. So once I have all my pieces cut to length and holes drilled in them, then I like to go with a rounder bit on my router table and make sure that all four sides of each piece is rounded over smooth. The wire you need is 8th inch galvanized wire. You're going to need four pieces that are about 30 inches long. You can find this stuff at pretty much any big box store or probably any hardware store. And I like to use 8th inch wire clamps to hold everything together. Now you could also use like staples or all thread rod or you could use little clamping uh, little round ferrules that you clamp on the end of the wire. Now I tried staples, they suck. I bought some of the little wire clamp, little crimping clamps and I couldn't get them to clamp hard enough and hold. And I didn't want to deal with all thread rods so I have these wire clamps and they hold awesome. Alright now the next thing to do is to assemble the chair in two pieces. Now you see I have a little drawing here drawn out that tells me the order I need all my pieces and which way to flip them. <clears throat> now you can find this on my blog and it's it's pretty easy to follow. Well, I don't know, it might be a little complicated at first, but you'll, a little work, you'll be able to understand it. So basically, once you get it laid out, all your holes are going to be lined up and you're just going to take your wire and slowly feed it through the holes. Now for the bottom, for the seat portion, you're just going to feed two wires through, leaving all these empty. Alright, now I have all the back pieces laid out, and I'm just going to thread one wire through the end here. Now I'm going to take this bottom piece and slowly take it and set it down over the top piece. And all of these short pieces are going to drop down in between these pieces. See how they're just dropping down in there? Through by every other piece. And all those holes are going to be lined up. And you're just going to take your wire and run it right through there. Alright, now that you have all four wires through, you can take the top and the front and kind of push them together just a little bit and open it up and it should form some kind of a chair. Your pieces are all correct. It's easy to get them out of whack the first time, but you'll get it. Now the next thing to do is just to tighten up all these joints, tighten up all the pieces, and put your clamps on. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just taking my wire clamp, putting it on here, tightening it up good. I'll be sure that all my pieces are tied together. And I just take another wire clamp, slide it on the other side, tighten it up, do that to all four of them, open it up, sit in it, and then if any of them need to be adjusted and need to be tightened a little bit, you can do that. Once you get all your clamps on and everything tight like you want it, you need to take and cut your excess wire off, of course. And then 
take a file or something and clean up these sharp edges. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my video on this stick chair, and I hope that you all find my instructions and diagrams on my blog easy to follow. But if you want to see some more of my videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Sailing and Such, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching.